I made you vote which book to read this time for my reading vlog, and you had to choose between Nevernight by J. Kristoff and Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo. And it was a very, very tight fight, but Nevernight won by a little bit. The good news is that I think I'm gonna do two reading vlogs. We're gonna start this week with this one and then possibly next week this one because I'm dying to read uh, King of Scars because it's about my favorite character, but there's gonna be some spoilers apparently, so I have to finish this one. So, yeah, it's probably gonna be the next book that I read after this one. But yeah, let's start with uh, this reading vlog. I am currently waiting for my vlog camera to be repaired, so hopefully it happens before this one is done because it's always more fun when you're actually vlogging. But the important part is really just me reviewing the book. I have done one so far where I was bashing the book, which I feel like gives you more content than when you're loving it. Like it's easier to pinpoint what bothers you than what you love, I guess. Maybe it's just me. But this has been raved about so much, it is time for me to read it. If you don't know, uh, this is about assassins. I think there's an assassin school in there. I'll, I'll know by the end of this video, right? And I did say that this was YA and everyone went for my neck. It's adult. Uh, <laughs> I feel like sometimes though people say a book is adult and I disagree. So we'll see uh, what happens here. It's not a huge book. Like there's 400 pages. So it's like a decent size. And ooh, I hadn't noticed there's, I love when there's maps. Like it, a book needs a map when it's fantasy, right? But yeah, everyone seems to absolutely love this. I'm hoping I will too, and we'll go through it together. I do have book two. Uh, I put my name on the waiting list at my library to get the ebook. So if I do like it, I can jump right away to the next one because book three is coming out before the end of the year. I think it's like September, November, something like that. So I wanted to try and catch up if I enjoy it. And everyone seems to love it so much. I have been warned multiple times that uh, there are apparently a bunch of footnote and now that I'm like going through the book, yes. And apparently it's incredibly annoying and it takes you out of the story constantly. I have been told to skip them. I'll like read a couple and if I feel like it doesn't bring too much to the story, I'll try to skip them and then everyone will comment right now that why did you skip them? You shouldn't skip them. But it will be too late. So <laughs> it doesn't matter anymore. But seriously, uh, I'm excited about it. I'm hoping I'm gonna like it and a little nervous because it is something that is so popular and I feel like there's like almost this taboo on the internet on booktube and Goodreads and like most platform for books that you shall not bash a popular book and I don't want to either. Like I obviously want to love it as much as everyone else so we can just all giggle and like be happy about it. So we're hoping. We're very, very much hoping. I'm gonna, uh, I'm not sure when I'm gonna finish this book. To be honest, it's kind of late today, but I'm probably gonna start it tonight and then tomorrow try and read some. And I'm hoping to read it throughout the whole week. So the video will be up next weekend. <laughs> That's my goal. So I'll see you later. Wish me luck. I need to find my post-it. Oh, they're right there. Fully, uh, people that have seen that video will know. Oh, see my camera is focusing on my snow globe, which Thank you. That's why it's never in my videos anymore because it's taking the center stage. I cannot deal like all the attention needs to be on me. Um, <laughs> for anyone that hadn't seen it, I did not do this myself. I'm not that crazy. It was sent to me as PR on my beauty channel. But there's a picture of me in a snow globe and it's the most scary yet funny thing I've ever seen. So yeah. I will have to remove it because it keeps focusing on it. Um, but yes, the post-its, if you haven't seen it, I included that in my last uh, reading vlog, which was about uh, Throne of Glass. Uh, these are adorable. These are called Finger It, which I think is freaking hilarious. It is a Korean brand, so I'm thinking it might have been like, maybe they did it on purpose. Maybe they did. Um, but the post-it are freaking hilarious. They're like two, three bucks. So I'll link them down below if you're interested. I'm not sponsored. They just make it so much more fun to actually annotate my books. So whenever there's a cringy scene or a funny scene or an amazing scene, I can just go wild with the post-its. Um, so far, I've mostly used up the ones of people being really, really frustrated or hating them. 
So we're hoping this time I will have like a bunch of really positive ones. <laughs> so let's see if I can read this book and annotate it in one week. <laughs> That's my goal. Let's do this. Okay, so I wanted to update you since yesterday I did read a little bit, but I got late and I fell asleep and let's be honest, that first chapter is kind of torturous to go through. Uh, yeah, the fact that it's like repeating kind of the same thing twice. Oh my god. Yeah, that took forever. Uh, I did want to mention the first sentence because I'm planning on doing a video about like the best first sentence in a book and I thought some people would enjoy that one because it literally starts with people often shit themselves when they die which depending on your humor you're either going to be repulsed or laugh at this um, but I did put a few uh, little post-its when there were some jokes and I didn't stop because there are quite a few <laughs> uh, I'm currently at chapter 7 which is at page 77 so I've made some progress this morning and honestly I'm enjoying this a lot more than I expected. I'm gonna be honest, I thought this was a YA, right? And I feel like I've mentioned in the past, but a lot of YA books, I kinda, I failed to understand the hype in the sense that people love the world building or get very attached to characters. And I feel like they lack a lot of substance. Like I don't relate because I, I can't get attached to them because I don't feel like there's enough. And Generally speaking, I'm more of a plot person than really like a character-driven book person, but it's because I feel like often they don't have enough substance. And I feel like within the first like 50 pages of this, there's more depth than like so many other popular YA books. And again, I haven't decided yet if I personally put it in YA or adult, probably adult to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying this. Uh, there's quite a bit of world building and the characters are very interesting. The magic system is intriguing. Um, so far the humor is nice, the writing is nice. I hadn't read any book by J. Kristoff except for Illuminae and I'm gonna say that it doesn't do his writing any justice, like none. Uh, you will struggle through the first bit like I mentioned and I have to say, did I put a post-it there? Yeah, like a lot of the times you might be able to see like literally have the pages like footnotes and like I understand now why people were complaining about it because it kind of takes you out of the story at times but it's interesting information about the world maybe it would be better if it was just integrated through the text without it being footnote uh, but so far I'm not really too bothered by it it definitely is a little bit more slow paced like reading wise, like I'm also reading on my phone uh, The Sun is Also a Star by Nicole Yoon because it's becoming a movie. And after reading like 20 pages of this, I read almost half of that book on my phone because it's like, it flows, you know? It's like super fast read. This isn't super fast, although it's picking up now. Um, it's not slow, like there's definitely a lot of action happening, but yeah, I just, my first impression so far is that the world is very interesting, I'm intrigued, and I completely understand so far the hype. Which I feel like I don't, don't say often, like I feel like I'm just starting this vlog, but I feel like after 77 pages, I'm already telling you that there's quite a bit in here to be interested in, and I understand the hype. So that's a really good sign, because I feel like I usually take like half the book to be like, nah, you know, maybe, so I feel like a lot of people are going to be very happy that I'm happy so far. But yeah, there's like over 400 pages, so it's probably going to take me a few more days. And I'm going bowling tonight. I'm not sure I'm going to very, I'm going to be able to vlog much because other people don't necessarily want to be in a vlog. But I'll try to maybe include a little bit. I need to still get dressed and stuff. But I need to read some more. I will attempt to do so. Um, my vlogging camera is still being repaired, hence this type of format. Some people prefer it that way, some people don't. We shall see. Vote in the comment section. Uh, I definitely want to try and do more vlog style sometimes. Maybe more in like readathons and whatever I'm like trying to focus on one book at a time, but you get to decide too. So yeah, so far so good. Uh, I was saying there's a bunch of jokes which some people are gonna love, some aren't, but... So for example, I wanted the jokes. Uh, there's one character that says to the main female character, you're pretty thing and then as a footnote it says 
a poet, this one, and no mistake. <laughs> like, yeah. So, let's keep reading. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. So, uh, we're day three, technically. Uh, I wanted to update you before I start reading again. Um, yeah, I was hoping my vlogging camera would be ready today, and it's not. So, again, we're gonna keep going like this. Uh, I'm currently, uh, I just finished book one, I guess, because now it's saying book two. So, I'm at page 123. So, I made some progress, but not that much, considering yesterday I was at page 77. Uh, I am hoping to start reading now. I had to film, clearly, <laughs> the makeup, uh, and then I worked out, hence the hair. <laughs> and uh, I need to like shower and stuff later, but I am going to try and make some actual progress in here. I am enjoying this quite a bit. Like, I was so scared I wasn't going to like this because of the hype, but so far so good. Um, I don't want to include too much spoilers in those videos. Let me know what uh, you feel like is appropriate or not. But I try to keep these videos kind of spoiler free. But yeah, uh, so far it's very interesting. So let's keep going. What? Like, what the hell did I just read? Uh, page 130. I've reread it like five times just saying what? I have no idea if something's gonna happen. But shh. What? Okay, so I hope the lighting isn't too bad. I don't have my ring light here with me. So I tried to like use the uh, windows, but there was like a snowstorm, so who knows. Uh, the last clip you saw was me just screaming at the camera saying, what? Because uh, shit happened. And uh, then my memory card got full. And then I just wanted to continue, so that's what I did. Uh, so it's about time that I update you because I've read so much more since. But uh, I'm gonna keep this reading vlog spoiler free. If you want spoilers, or if you want me to keep these uh, spoiler free, please let them in the comment section. I feel like this could be more fun for the average person if I keep them spoiler free because I can do, like you can watch all of them without having any spoilers. Maybe I can keep the spoilers for the end, maybe. Uh, again, just let me know. But uh, if I want to talk about spoilers, I'll include it in my wrap up and I'll mention it so you can skip ahead if you don't want any spoilers. So, uh, yeah, I was screaming at the camera at page 130 because things happened. Didn't see that one coming. Uh, enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, I also included a few more post-its since uh, either with jokes that are funny or uh, scenes that I am rooting for the characters hard. I'm loving the world. I'm loving this book. Like, I was editing the first couple clips and I was like, wow, I look so, like, not into it. Because I was nervous. Uh, but now I'm completely sold. I love this. I recommend it already. I'm not done with it, but I'm already recommending it. Uh, I do have to say that there has been uh, two sex scenes so far. They make me uncomfortable. I'm not a fan, but whatevs. Uh, and I do want to mention that I really appreciate how the main female character, first off, she's not that cute little dainty little thing, but mostly uh, I appreciate how she's not the bestest at everything, which is like so often my complaint with the main character, especially female character. Uh, she's not the best at fighting. She has her strength, but she's not better than everyone else like after five minutes, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, that was refreshing. So I'm currently at almost page 300. There are over 400 pages, so I still have, you know, a good amount uh, left, but I'm super excited to see how things are going to end for the book one. And uh, like I had mentioned, I have book two on the waiting list and I will impatiently wait for book three coming out this year. I'm loving this. So I didn't expect to love it as much as I am loving it, so. Yeah, quite a few posters. I didn't put posted every time they would be like a funny joke because I would never end it. Uh, but I'm enjoying also the uh, footnotes. I wasn't sure in the beginning, but honestly, I understand why people would think it gets a bit much, but I love how it just makes you dive deeper and deeper into the world. Like it's a complex, interesting world. Like it doesn't feel flimsy. Uh, it just, it, it works. I, I'm enjoying it. Like I understand some of them not necessarily necessary, but 
I read them all. I'm liking them all. It's all good. Uh, yeah, basically, this is fun. I am ending this so I can go and finish the book. I'll see you later. Okay, so I just finished Nevernight and I don't know yet how I feel about the ending. It's like too soon. But so much has happened since the last time I updated you. I don't even remember exactly where I was at. Um, I'm hoping some people that are possibly dead are not dead. I am hoping that maybe some people I'm shipping might be kind of shipped, maybe. Twisted way of shipping them, but kind of. Um, that ending though. I love this book. I understand that the writing style is not going to be for everyone. Like I went to the mistake of looking at some uh, reviews and some people were complaining there's a lot of like long sentences and it didn't bother me and I feel like that's usually something that would bother me and really didn't. Uh, now I look back at me mentioning that I might skip the note at the, uh, the bottom of the pages and I'm like why would I? Uh, I want more from this world. I, like I mentioned, I am waiting for book two from my library. And uh, as soon as book three comes out in September, I shall be reading it. I am loving this. I'm giving you this five stars. And I feel like I went into this feeling like, oh, it's probably going to be overhyped. Like, I feel like I've been disappointed with so many raved and hyped book, whether it's booktube or uh, Goodreads. And... I thought this was going to be the case. I I'm just gonna be honest, but no, I was wrong. You need to read this. I would say, like, style-wise, like, it's not the same writing style or anything, but, like, similar story-wise, I guess. I would say it reminds me a bit, like, maybe Miss Born or even Red Sister by Mark Lawrence that I mentioned. Like, they're, those are, like, similar level of enjoyment for me. That says it all. Ah, uh, this will make it to my best of 2019 at the end of the year. I'm already telling you right now. So yeah, I, do I need to read more about it? I feel like this is just there is like my huge statement. You need to pick this up if you're someone that likes uh, fantasy. You could uh, just look up on Goodreads first to read the first couple pages just to see if the writing style is going to be an issue for you. But otherwise, I love this. Love this. So yeah, the only thing that I can complain about is the two cringy sex scenes, but that that was to be expected. That's just me. Uh, but it didn't, like, the romance didn't take over the whole book. And yeah, I'm excited to continue. Could not rave about more about this. So let me know in the comment section how you feel about this one. Just be careful with spoilers. I would happily discuss spoiler with the people. Um, and let me know. I think my next book for reading vlog is going to be Crooked Kingdom, since everyone kind of is wanting me to continue that one but let me know which other adult book you would like me to include in the tbr i need to like uh, a reading vlog i need to like show you a pile and then you can vote so i'll probably do that in my next reading vlog but yeah loved it can't recommend it enough seriously just just pick it up it's time